person 25, Honourable Member for Onkin Message. Thank you, Mr President. I'd like to ask the Chairman of the Manx Utilities Authority what the current capacity of Sulby Reservoir is. On the Chairman of the Manx Util Utilities Authority to reply. Thank you very much, Mr President. I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for, asking for, her, for her question. I can confirm that Sulby Reservoir capacity is 4.84 million cubic metres and it has a depth of 52 metres. Currently, it's approximately 80% full. Thank you. Supplementary message. Thank you, uh, Mr President. Um, obviously, when uh, the Sulby Reservoir was constructed, um, it was to do uh, uh, for a population of 90,000 people. Um, so, so from what the figures the, the Minister has just given, can, can he confirm that there's been no silting up of the reservoir and that it still has capacity for a population of 90,000. Minister to reply. Thank you very much and again thank you for uh, the opportunity just to clarify the position. Um, following the 2018 drought, a volume survey and sediment evaluation of Sulby Reservoir was carried out which approximated that a volume of 220,000 cubic metres is lost to sediment. That equates to approximately 4.5% reduction in the previously assumed capacity of the reservoir. Therefore, on that basis, the effective capacity reflecting the loss of sediment is 4.62 uh, million cubic metres. Now, the, the broader question that the Honourable Member is raising is, is, is regarding the uh, ongoing um, adequacy of water provision on the, on, on the island. That's, that's quite a complex uh, matter. It's been brought very much to front, front of mind, um, given the fact that we've had two effectively drought situations in, in, in three years. And the Board of Manx Utilities is very cognizant of this. It is looking at what its reaction to that uh, will, will need to be. A range of options exist. They will be uh, considered by the, by the Board and, 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 and plans, um, plans will, be, will be put together to, to ensure a proportionate and appropriate response to that is, um, is, is, is enacted. Um, and Clearly, reservoir capacity is one element of that, but there are many other elements, including uh, leakage uh, from our existing system and the whole architecture of the water supply system, and indeed uh, the potential for use of uh, smart uh, metering within the uh, or increased use of smart metering within 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 the network. So, this is a topic which uh, Manx Utilities Board will need to uh, develop up um, in, in, in the near future and come forward with. With some plans. I'd like to thank the member for giving me the opportunity to, to actually uh, update this honourable court on those thoughts. Sage. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'll just the, thank the minister for, for the information. And um, you know, a, a big concern um, really is quite clearly that the, there's been silting up and, and there's been a reduction. So what is the capacity for numbers of residents at the present time? Surely if there's been a reduction, you know that figure. And also in the National Infrastructure Strategy, there is nothing in it about doing any reservoir works to make sure that we have additional capacity in the future. Um, and obviously that document's only recently been approved. Um, so I'm really concerned for, for, for the population that um, you know, to make sure that we do have adequate water supplies for the future and where's the strategy going forward? Minister to reply. Thank you very much, uh, Mr President. And, and, and the uh, the Honourable Member is ab absolutely right. This is a really important this is a really important subject. I mean sedimentation is a is a natural uh, natural process and uh, the reservoir is just one element effectively of uh, the water catchment uh, on on, on, on our island. So it's not a simple linear relationship between the capacities of the reservoirs and the number of people that, uh, that, that, that those can satisfy. Um, and, and clearly it depends on, depends on usage. Uh, we saw during the temporary use ban a significant uh, drop of, of uh, up to 8.7 megalitres a day achieved in redu reducing usage. There are opportunities to reduce usage through things like improving the, uh, the network and, re and reducing leakage. And, and as I said uh, earlier in my answer, this is something that the Manx Utilities Management and Board need to, need to work up a proportionate and appropriate plan to, to ensure that there is adequate provision of water for the long-term uh, needs of the island in the context of not just the changing population, 
um, but also the, the climactic change which we uh, which, which we are uh, experiencing. Final supplementary message. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, and thank the Minister, um, obviously, for confirming that you're working something up. Just wonder if you could put a timeline on that as to when you would expect to have some, some information. And um, clearly, there is nothing in the budget in the pink book for any improvements to our reservoirs at this stage. So, and you know, that goes right out into, for 10 years' time. So, there's nothing happening in the next 10 years. So, obviously, if, if there is something that needs to come forward, can the um, chairman, sorry, I was going to call you Minister then. Chairman, please advise what the timeline is for bringing that forward. Mr Baker. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Uh, current, currently, I don't have a precise timeline to, to, to share with the Honourable Member. This has come out of the work uh, that's been done uh, on the back of the drought. And, of course, um, I only stepped into the role uh, as, as, as MUA Chair um, a couple of months ago. So... Um, but it is quite clear the board has, has very much recognised the issue. Um, the honourable member is right. There is no provision for a new reservoir in the, the current capital spending plans, but there's actually no suggestion that that actually is the right answer. It could be a combination of measures. We're aware of other jurisdictions that use things like desalination plants. That might cross the mix. Um, it may be part of the mix to, to improve uh, and upgrade our... Um, water, water infrastructure so that we reduce leakages and we get better management through the use of, of smart sensors. So um, I'd be very happy to update this honourable court um, once, the, once the board has evaluated the options and, and come forward with uh, proposals. They will of course need to be uh, properly thought through and costed and the appropriate conversations with, with Treasury and others as part of the ongoing uh, capital expenditure plans for, for, for the authority. And um, you know, clearly we need to adapt and, and, and learn uh, and, and take the right action at the right uh, point in time. Currently, we're, we're on a journey. We don't have the answer yet, um, but we, we know the questions and uh, it's a work in progress.